Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, a couple training tips here. Number one, one of the most popular questions that I get for people who are coming on board on a part-time basis is when is the best day of the week to go out there and help families? Saturdays, weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. Number one, best time ever to help families. In six and a half years, it's very rare that I go out on a Saturday and I haven't been able to help somebody. I'd say probably in the last three years, I've never once gone out on a Saturday and come home empty handed. Not once. Saturdays are going to be your money days, especially for your part time people. Saturdays and Sundays, for sure. When's the best time to make calls? To load up on a Saturday? Thursday night, Friday night. Great times to make calls. 6 to 8 p.m., 5 to 8 p.m., Thursdays and Friday nights are amazing times to get a hold of people. They're a lot more relaxed, they're a lot more chill. It's the end of the week. And that'll set you up for Saturday. That'll be your day. I promise you this. You put the work in, you make the calls, you see the people. You can and will make money in our opportunity on a part-time basis. On one day's work, you can make more than what a lot of people make working 40 to 45 hours a week doing in one day. Let Saturdays and Sundays be your day for sure. Okay? Let me tell you a little bit about a husband and wife couple that I was just able to assist. We think as young people that we're invincible, yes? And I'm a living testament. You know, uh, went blind in my right eye. Right now it looks a lot better, but still, when I go like this, can't see out of it. And so, unexpectedly, that happened to me in my four, at age 41, four weeks ago, went blind in my right eye and detached my retina. Worst things can happen to people, yes? Cancer, heart attack, stroke. This, this couple I just met with, he's 53, she's 43. And last year, she's a cardiovascular tech. And last year she got a new job. And at her job, they gave her a ultrasound machine to go home with because she was gonna be using it for her new job. And jokingly around when she went home, she joked with her husband, hey, you're gonna be my test guy. You know, I'm gonna test the machine out on you. And she was testing it out on his neck. She put it, you know, <laughs> she said she put the stuff on his forehead. She tested his, you know, in his heart. And then she did down by his midsection. And then all of a sudden, there were these large bunches of knots that came up all over the screen. And she has been a cardiovascular tech now for 10 years. She's worked in the medical field and she said she knew right away. She knew it wasn't right and she knew it was cancer. And she was 100% correct. They made an appointment to an oncologist the very next day. And this gentleman at age, at back then he was age 52, was diagnosed with stage two cancer in his small intestines. He had his colon removed totally unexpected joking around they they found this and so they had to do a loan modification on their mortgage and they have some young children in the house some grandchildren 27 year old uh, daughter whose husband passed away from cancer their brother passed away uh, unexpectedly and then two other relatives all in the last year and so a lot of times right when we think that we have it such and such is bad right some people somebody always has something worse my, my, my point is here is I was able to help them both her I took care of for a straight mortgage protection plan and covered 100% of the mortgage for him I did a mortgage protection payment program with a company called Great Western I'd say maybe two to three out of every 20 people you sit with, you're gonna come across some people that are just medically ineligible for living benefits life insurance with term life. They're not even eligible for a whole life policy that would give you day one coverage. We have a company called Great Western and that company will give you coverage, but it's prorated in the first two years and then going into the third year, you get 100%. And so I did that mortgage protection payment program for him with the understanding that I'm going to annual review with him 
over the next few years, and then we'll re-examine his life insurance and maybe go with something fully underwritten in about two or three years. I'm also going to take care of their daughter, 27 years old. We have a very uh, great conversation, and uh, she wants me to do an index universal life. I'm going to go back and see her, and then we're going to take care of her children and then some grandchildren. Uh, right now, they're in some whole life policies, and we're going to put them into something better. So take away from this. Just see everybody. See all those B leads. Talk to everybody. You just don't know what young people are going through. And when I say young people, people in their 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s, I mean, just people, people are living longer nowadays. And everybody needs something that we have. Most people don't have living benefits. 98% of the people don't have any living benefits in their life insurance. And there's a good majority of the country who has no life insurance at all. And if they do, they don't even have the right kind of insurance. Take advantage of your days. Take advantage of your opportunities. Take advantage of these Saturdays. They're phenomenal, phenomenal days for you to go out there and pack out your bank account and help families. Do right by people. And so have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing everybody here real soon. Take care.